All right. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who I reverence. Honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning. This lesson is going to be on the fear of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, right? Not the fear of man, the fear of Yahweh Shai. Alright? Because if you have the fear of Yahweh Shai, guess what? You're going to do what he told you. You're going to do his work. Okay? If you don't fear Yahweh Shai, you're not going to um, take any action. Alright? Go to Proverbs 9 and 13. I haven't got nothing written down. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Alright, so you, you hate evil, we hate evil. Any form of evil. Pride, someone that's prideful, right? You hate when someone's prideful, you hate that, right? And arrogancy, someone that's pomp and an evil way, right? And a froward mouth do I hate, and the scriptures from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So it's, if someone has a froward mouth, they have a froward heart, might. Counsel is my sound wisdom and, and I am understanding. I have strength. By me kings reign through, through wisdom. And princes decree justice. Right? By me princes rule and nobles. Even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me. Right? And love and fear hand in hand. You can't say you love someone but you don't fear them. You can't say you fear someone but you don't love them. Right? And those that seek me early shall find me. One of my favorite scriptures. Seek your house early. You're going to find him. Right? Early. Right? He's going to sup with you. Right? But again, goes back to what that fear. Right? Jump to Proverbs 9. We're going to go into a lot of Proverbs. Proverbs 9 and... 9. Give instruction to a wise man. Right? Not any man. Right? It says, give instruction to a wise man. Just remember what the scripture says. Cast not your pearls before swine, lest they render you and what trample under their feet. So you've got to know who you're, you're teaching. That's one thing I've had to learn. You're not just teaching anyone because someone just might say, ah, I don't want to listen. It says, give instruction to a wise man. That's how you instruct. Right? And he will be yet to be wiser because he's going to take what you've given him and he's going to apply that. And now that man's going to be his wise as he was before he's going to apply that wisdom and he's going to be a wiser man teach a just man an upright man and he will increase in learning why would he increase in learning because he's attentive and he's been listening to what you've been saying and he's going to add what you've given to him and he's going to take that and he's going to grow upon it that's how you grow if a man's telling you something he's right it's according to the scriptures you can add to that that's why the scripture says a skillful man will hear and adds right and what add to that word right and that is a skill the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom that's the beginning right the fear of the lord jehovah Shai, is the beginning of wisdom right so you want wisdom that's the beginning of it the fear you have a shy right and the knowledge of the holy is understanding right Knowledge of the Holy, who? Yahweh Shai. Is under, so you, the main thing is, you have to know Yahweh Shai. You can't, just, you can't just pick up these scriptures. And we know every brother's got a different lot. But none of, none of your videos, you ask you something about Yahweh Shai, you can't mention Yahweh Shai. But there's a problem. Or you rarely mention him. The knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. The knowledge of Yahweh Shai, what he likes, what he doesn't like, is understanding. Right? And the third is the beginning of wisdom. That's the beginning. That's the start of you attaining wisdom. And guess what? It takes fear to do this work. Because a man that doesn't fear, oh, you know, I just, uh, I'll just, you know, I'll take a break for five days. I'll just come back. Um, by that time, you have a show, I could already strip the spirit from you. It all goes down to fear. Right? It all goes down to fear. For by me, that day shall be multiplied. By what wisdom? And years of life shall be increased by what applying the law 
if thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. You see, because it is a, it is um. Again, you're being wise. You're being wise for yourself and others that hear you. Okay. But if thou scornest, thou alone shall bear it. So if you end up scorning these words, you're gonna have to bear that wrath for yourself. Okay. If you scornest. Okay. Verse 27, the fear of the Lord prolongeth days, so you live longer, even though we're not, we're not trying to um, live our life in this kingdom. We're not trying to live our life in this kingdom. We want another kingdom, but it prolongs life. Yes, fear in Yahweh it prolongs your life. Right? Pro prolongeth your days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. So those that don't want to take heed and Esau, his days are going to be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but expectation of the wicked shall perish. It goes it all goes back to the what that fear. Alright. And let's get more scriptures on this. So through the fear, I forgot where the scripture is. Oh. Oh, found it. Bear me just a minute. We go back to that soon. Found it. Go to the apocrypha. Alright, see how much time I got. Ecclesiasticus. Page 34, chapter 34, page 144. The spirit of those that fear the Lord, Jehovah Shai, right? Their soul, your spirit is your soul, shall live, right? For their hope is in Him that saveth them. Our hope is in Jehovah Shai. Whoso feareth the Lord, Jehovah Shai, shall not fear. Key shall not fear. Does that mean brothers are not going to get so, Come on, come you, you got to be realistic. It's the flesh. More so, it's the flesh that fears. But the spirit, no. Right? Whosoever fear of the Lord shall not fear, nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Right? Because Yahabashah is our fear. Right? And Yahabashah always is. Yahabashah controls man. So, what man does, Yahabashah controls that. How man thinks, Yahabashah controls that. Blessed is the soul of him that feareth the Lord, Yahabashah. To whom doth he look for, and who is his strength? For the eyes of the Lord, Jehovah are upon them that love him. And we went to that as well. I love those that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. He is their mighty protection, and strong stay, and a defense from heat. In other words, a covering, right? Similar to a pavilion. A cover from the sun at noon. A, pre a preservation from the stumbling, and a help from falling. That's through the fear of Jehovah he raises up the soul and lighteneth the eyes. Right? And it says, He giveth health, life, and blessing. Right? All these things He does. He that sacrifice of a thing wrongfully gotten, His offering is ridiculous. And you're going to have individuals that do that. Go to camp. You're going to have individuals that go to camp tomorrow. And they're going to be sacrificing a thing or offering ridiculous. Because what? There's no sincerity there. There has to be fear there. Right? And the gifts of unjust men are not accepted. So you've got to be careful what type of sacrifice you're giving. Right? If you don't have the fear of Yahweh but you're coming to camp, it's seen as an unjust sacrifice. The Most High is not pleased with the offerings of the wicked, neither is he pacified. Right? For sin. Right? The key. Neither is he pacified for sin by the multitude of sacrifices. Right? So again, the Lord does require offerings, but you've got to be sincere about this, right? got to be sincere about this, man. Okay? The Most High is not pacified by the multitude of what? Offerings, especially the offerings of the wicked, right? It needs to be a righteous sacrifice, okay? Now let's go back to Proverbs. That's something I've learned in this truth even more. The fear of Yahweh Shai. The fear of Yahweh Shai. Not so much what man think. Man changes. The fear of Yahweh Shai. You fear Yahweh Shai, you're in a good place if you fear him. Let's go to Proverbs 14. Alright. And 26. The fear of the Lord is strong, confident. You ever wonder why brothers have confidence? And you may have others, they may look at that. Ah, you're, too, you're too confident. You're too confident. You know? 
and they may bring up um example of boxing yeah you can never be too confident in it no no boxers are you have to be confident when you're boxing you have to be and if your opponent knows you're coming into the to the um the boxing ring and you're not confident he uses that against you that's why they have stare downs right so you have to be confident in your have a shy there's a difference but maybe the problem it just may be with you that you're not confident in your have a shy your ability but don't project that this is what i'm saying you can't stop projecting a lot of men project well there's a reason why you're not confident well are you doing the right thing do you fear you have a shine proverbs 14 and 26 in the fear of the lord you have a shine is strong confidence strong confidence strong confidence in his fear because you know you're fearing him because you're examining yourself so of course you're going to have a strong confidence you're going to have courage because you fear him and you know through that fear he's able to what help you out and his children shall have a place of refuge shelter safety the fear of this the fear of the lord is a fountain of life so this life that comes with what fearing the lord the reason why people are dying because they don't fear the lord right to depart from the snares of death that's how you depart from snares of death through the fear of the lord the fear of the lord will have you stop doing the things you were doing in the world right that's you departing from the snares of death your old ways our old habits that only led to death that only led to the flesh okay these things are key all right let me check the time time's running out a couple more scriptures may I shut off Okay, is there anything else? Is there anything else? Ah. Hold on just a minute. All right. Hold on just a minute. That fear and that fear keeps everything in order. Esau doesn't push out fear. Esau pushes out chaos, chaos, disorder, anarchy. Right? Ecclesiasticus, we shut off on this, all right? 16, before man is life and death. And that's what was presented to us by Moses. Right? Life and death. And whether him like it shall be given him, right? And it says, so according to what you're doing, according to how you're living, it's going to be given to you, right? For wisdom of the Lord is great. For the wisdom of the Lord, Yahushua, is great. He is mighty and power and beholdeth all things, right? His eyes are upon them that fear him. So you're fearing Yahushua. He's watching you, okay? And that's why you fear him. When you go off, you get you gonna get trusted straight away because his eyes are upon you, and he knoweth every work of man. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given any man license to sin. Even though we have we have grace, we're not given license to sin. And his eyes are upon him that fear him. So that means he really cares for his elect. Right? He really does. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next one, shadow arms to the hopeful elect. Shut up.